Hey, what's going on guys? Sub here, and welcome back to Minecraft Discover Craft series. Now, I've been doing a lot in between episodes, and I have had recording problems for the past few days, so that's why it's been taking long. As you see, we have a crap ton of diamond armor and diamond tools, we got a crossbow, everything's enchanted except for my shovel, and we have all these blocks, which basically is today's episode. I dug down here, found a like quadruple ravine cage that was amazing. Uh, we, our water elevator brings us up here, we got another portal, we got our glass, and we have a bedroom, which I built, and then we have this, which is our enchantment room. I personally like the bare walls, I think they look nice. I enchanted way too many books, and yeah, that's basically what I've done, besides gather these blocks. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working on a giant, giant farm. I, I found a few pumpkin melon seeds, not much. People have been doing a lot. They have amazing bases all over the place. But, yeah. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't know why I have them still. But anyway. As you can see, we've built the staircase here. Leading down. And I've cleared this giant area. Which is where we're going to be building our farm. Now, the farm's going to be made out of quartz and concrete. Because it looks nice. Um, now, how we want to do this is we want to have... Ooh. Well, we gotta find the center first. So, this is gonna be our ultimate farm. We're gonna grow sugarcane and bamboo. I don't have the bamboo on me right now, actually, but yeah, sugarcane and bamboo, because eventually we're gonna be setting up a farm, a redstone farm. Well, no, redstone shop. So, you can literally just choose what you want. So, I guess we wanna have this. How many? We have 18 sugarcane. It needs to be an odd number. So, how about. 15 by 15, so, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good amount. And then we can dig all this out. And if you look over there, people have been building a lot. So we're going to have this, and I guess we can have it by 3, so we have a center. Yeah, so basically, I want to find the set now. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Why am I digging this? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm panicking. I had this planned out, but I didn't know what I'm doing. So, oh crap, I forgot. I forgot about this. The hideous creeper attacks that literally destroyed, like, everything. All right. Oh, whatever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, no. That's correct. Alright. So that's going to be our center. And basically, I kind of want to have it like this. So we're going to have the quartz going around. And this. Here, so I guess how long do we want? Seven is actually pretty good for going out. Three, four, five, seven, and then we are gonna want these. So I guess from here we can have. So this bottom first floor is gonna be like the storage area, because that's gonna be important. The storage of all of these things. Now, I already have the redstone planned out, and if I if I just pause randomly, it's because I'm checking my recorder. As I've said, I've had recording issues all week, but we're going to be doing... Right, yeah, there we go. Alright, uh, this is good for now. So, this is the center. This is where we're, we could either have barrels or chests going around here. So, basically, we want to have... How tall over right here? Four... And then glass. Because we're going to have a hopper in the middle. It's going to come down. I think, yeah. We'll go five up. Five. So I do want like a glass roof separating the actual farm from the rest. So now this is where the actual farm is going to start. So, uh, Alright, I'm going to... 
grab dirt actually so we can fill this all in and have some kind of scaffolding block. Yeah, we went on quite a few expeditions in the ocean. Um, so yeah, this is the start of our first thing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Oh, perfect, actually. That is perfect. That's only five. I could bring these out three more, I think. I don't know why this tree has not gone away yet. Is there any wood left in the other house? Oh, there we go. Yeah, like that. So this is where the copper is going to be. It's where the hopper is going to be. So we're going to have water going on these sides, just down. Down into here, where we're going to have a hopper. Going into... I guess we could have... There's a water bucket in the middle, flowing outward into a bunch of different hoppers on the sides. Because that, that might work. Also, trees give sticks now. I did not realize that. That is an interesting feature. There is more wood now. Wish you would stop having wood now. Get rid of the wood. Alright, whatever. That tree's gonna be the one. So, from here, we're gonna go up. Let's see. So, one, two, three. If we go up three, then we can have. Well, how is this gonna have to work exactly? Because we need to have the observer. Observing Huh So if we have I could have really thought about this If we have pistons like Here and then the observer just there. That can be the bamboo. Because the bamboo can just grow there. But then, to make this function, we need to have a repeater, redstone, redstone. How would we... I guess what I could exactly do is build a bunch of our mini farms, but our mini farms took up actually quite a bit of space. So, now the question is how to do this. I guess we would have to build it in a bit, so. Is that like a good tool break? So, I guess every three we have a farm, so. One, two, three. A few moments later. Alright guys, so I put in all the blocks. Had to go get more quartz because we did not have nearly enough. We were like three stacks short. Um, but, oh wait, I forgot these blocks. Eh, it doesn't matter for now. So basically, what we have to do now is we have to figure out how we are going to build our farm. So... It's going to be sugarcane and bamboo, so every three blocks high we have to have an observer. So, the water at the bottom, that's not going to be too much of a problem. What I'm thinking is, we need to have pistons that activate along here. And then an observer right there. That active. one of the things that would be facing inward more. But that would be what would have to happen. So I'm going to go grab some redstone so we can try to get that to work. Uh, issue is, I don't have an elytra, so how am I going to get down? Parkour. 
Oh. What hurt? How the hell is there a zombie? Alright, I'll take it. Alright, so. Now comes the hard part. Building the redstone circle. Wait. No repeaters. Okay, then. Well, I went mining, so I have a bunch of redstone. So we're gonna make... Six repeaters should be enough. Because we should only need repeaters and redstone for this. So, that's not too bad. Now look at our build. It looks bad, actually. Not... Let's go. Oh, I missed a block. But basically, this is going to be the doorway here, I think. So That's going to be the doorway. Actually, we can build up here. You know, yeah, nice. I made this very tall. And I regret doing that. But, what, what, what is anyone going to do? What is anyone going to do? A tall build, but we get stuff from it, so it's worth it. I don't know what happened over there, but that things have gone out of control with Bamboo. So from here, hey, what am I doing? You just have to get it so that first off, this observer should face that. No. There we go. Then if I only that piston activates. So what if I just Yeah, there we go. So there is our small circuit. It's actually incredibly small, holy crap. Alright. So that will push all the blocks. So this is what we're going to have to do all around here. And I just realized that this is not going to work that well. Because now... So, how do we... I should have brought, like, a block I can use. It's not dirt, because I need the dirt. Alright, so... It's a three-block long thing, including the dirt. So that's one, two, three. One. One, two, three. Now with you, go in. Out one. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. That should be good. Now, if we go in. Alright, so. This is going to be our farm area, which is going to be really hard to work with. So, this is, this is what we're going to do. So, if we go like this, yeah, so we just have to do this all the way around. And I'll be back once we do that. Then I think what we're going to do is we're going to have water dropping down from the ceiling into these blocks, just going straight down. Which should help, because then the sugar cane can grow. It can be pushed over and down there. So, that's what we want. So, yeah. I'll be back once I have all these built. In the meantime, yeah. We'll be back. A few moments later.
All right, guys, so I've built uh, quite a few floors and scaffolding so I can get back up there because I want to put glowstone in because it has to grow from something. So I figured I'm going to record me building this last layer just to show you exactly how I've been building them. So basically, I outlined with the dirt into this weird shape, which actually looks really nice. I might build a building literally just that shape. It looks that good. And then I put in this uh, the concrete. So now we have a solid floor, and then I simply put it all in. So we just go around like this, and then we add the pistons, which I should have. I've used so many materials on this, but I'm so proud of this build, honestly. It looks really nice. So we're going to go out one. You're actually useless. See so these corners? We just put glowstone in because they're useless. Um, here we're going to want to have an observer, so I'm just going to do that. And then we put the server facing in. I did something wrong here with this layer. Oh, that's what I did wrong. You're supposed to be there. I was about to say, something terribly wrong has happened. Then we simply just fill this in. And I just trapped myself. That is a great development. Uh, oh, whatever. Basically, we do the redstone around. Can I reach all the way back there? Alright. So, we just go like that, basically. Here, it's generally the same concept. Go one, one, put the observer there. Why would I do that? I am a mess today, guys. I am just an absolute mess. See, you could build this in a lot of different designs, but the way I built it actually makes it really efficient. Probably could have got more stuff in these corners here, but what are you gonna do about that? <laughs> All right, I've used so much redstone on this, guys, and no repeaters. It's insane. All right, so now here you are another one of the useless corners. Well, you're not useless. If you do that. <sighs> I have pushed myself all the time. Way too many times. Also, we have the water down at the bottom flowing to coppers with scaffolding so I can move up and down. Pretty helpful, honestly. Um, you face this way. And here, like that. That we want. go. Now what I've actually been doing is I've been putting it like this, just to make it look nice, because it looks a little nicer. Although with these on the sides, put glowstone. Now for my time gathering all the quartz, I also grabbed way too much glowstone, so we are, are fully set. Uh, uh, around. Can't do that. This. This is a very tedious process, guys, if you haven't noticed. Now, now we gotta go back over here. Do that. Finish that up. And this. Not that. So as you can see, guys, this takes a very, very long time. I will have to go back up and down once I add the crops. I figure I could alternate some four layers. We could do two bamboo, two sugarcane, 
um, or just all bamboo or all sugar cane, honestly, it doesn't matter. But I don't think we have it like that, but I don't know. It's just a possibility. It's just a theory, guys. A game theory. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. This is taking me a very long time, but it's not that bad to build, honestly. It takes a lot of materials. I probably could have used different blocks. But it wasn't that bad to build. And that is the last observer that we want. We're gonna exit that way, so. And I trapped myself in again. There we go. This is a very annoying process, guys. Um, should be all good. Hmm, should expect that. So, as you can see, that is every single floor. Right. A few moments later. Alright guys, we're back. I bet you didn't think I'd stop there randomly. Well, too bad. So basically, as you can see, I'm on scaffolding. Oh, crap. Okay, so, we've climbed all the way up to the top here. And I've put water into all these holes I made, so that we can grow sugar cane. This one is already harvested, and I had another observer, because this one was bothering me. Basically. Now, all we have to do is add the sugar cane here. We already have a lot of sugar cane growing. Good. As you can see, we've made a sugar cane. And we have a lot of strange items in here. Now once I destroy the scaffolding, this probably will work a lot better. Which makes sense. Uh, you're going to need a lot more sugar cane. Actually, uh, I want you to go there. So, that's all sugar cane we can put. Actually, yeah. That's it. That's satisfying. It'll all come down eventually. I'm gonna destroy pretty much all of that. And then what we can do here is go up like this. And this is the top of our build right now, which looks really bad. So, I'm simply going to have to make this look nice up here. If we're going up here, then we might as well just... Notice I've actually have made these bigger. We have more of these. Oh, yeah, we do. Good. <laughs> Might not have enough. Two more up. Yeah, two more up. This also gives you guys a nice view of the a lot of bamboo themed builds that have happened. Not really bamboo. Like a lot of floating stuff. Now, if anyone comes on the server and looks in this direction, they will be very confused because I don't think anyone actually uh, <laughs> knows what this is besides us. And well, I guess you guys watching the video. And I think I want to make this. Go like one lower. 
Oh. Was a bad development. How fast you can swim. Yeah, that's that's actually really good looking. So it looks like I will have to go and fix all of that. <laughs> Just because my build looks nice. Oh, do I even have enough? That is problematic. You're good. You're good. You are definitely not good. So, guys, if you want to do this, make sure the outside is nice before you break it. How much is the water covered now? It covers quite a bit. Oh, look at that. No, not that. You can keep that. I want that. So, all the stuff should go to the middle when it falls down. Probably because all the water from above is pushing everything in. So it solves that. What it doesn't solve is probably me out of here. There we go. Clever. No. Scaffolding is actually very good. It's a lot better than ladders. There we go. At the top. So we're missing three, three cord spots, which is which is fine. Hello, why? How did you get up here? If I turn these into slabs, it's three. Four, five, six. You're useless there. Useless? It's one. So we seem to have found a row of useless blocks. Recycling. Can I just... 
Oh, now we have enough. Alright. Of course it's only there. And the build complete, guys. Please tell me we're recording. Okay, yay, we are. We have a successful recording. It's been like a very long time since I've had one of those. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why you need a crossbow, not a bow, I think they're better, honestly. Because when you have piercing on it, it can fire through the mob, and the arrow lands on the other side. So if it's only one they're fighting. You actually do get your arrows back, so it's kind of like really efficient. And that is our build, basically. Almost. Fight that. Alright. So, we're not done yet because we still have to do the bottom half, though, guys. Hmm, that's not what's supposed to happen. Alright, so. What I'm thinking we could do is barrels, because I think barrels would look nice. This is from all the trees I shot. Clear our way to build that. So that's just six. That's seven. Uh, that's so six. That should be. Sixteen barrels. I can work with that. How much iron do we have? Quite a few, two stacks. And then some. So, I'm thinking we can make... How many hoppers? Uh, ten hoppers should be enough. I forgot we already had a hopper on us. This is a nice clear area we've made. Go away. I just lock that up. So this is the center right here. And this is our bottom floor. With major flaws. Alright, there we go. Now we got floor. So, I don't want to do this. I guess since this is just going to be a storage area. See, I'm thinking we can have that put into a dropper and run a line of water. Maybe. No, that wouldn't work. So, there have been storage devices where you simply have a line of water running in a square pattern going above. So, like, you have water going in, like, a square like this, and on each square, you either have ice or hoppers. And the hoppers will bring them down into another hopper, and it will fill a row of chests. So, we could, we could try that by putting, I guess we'll just light up each corner respectively right now, and if we put, now eventually I will have to go back inside this thing to fill the sugar cane. I guess I could do some bamboo, but yeah, so that's good for now. If we get... Barrels. Like that. 
and then we can attach you to a dropper, maybe. So let's say that's a dropper. It can drop the items into a line of water. Going over here. Into another line. That would just go along here. So that would be in the room though, that would only be three high. Which is not something I really want. I guess I could make that slab actually. So if we get three more hoppers, We can have a water line, maybe, from here. It's going to be the maintenance area, I guess. Yeah. So we can have you bring items over here. I personally love barrels. It just look, makes such a cool looking one. Like, even if you're not storing it, it just looks so nice. So, we can have you drop into a line of water going three, four, here. Going into there. How long is that? Uh, seven. And then you can simply, we can have another line going that way. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, which is the perfect amount. So that can be our little water system right there. Let's have a crafting table down here. Now, if we do it on slabs, because I don't want a roof like that. I actually want it looking semi nice. So. That should be all we really need right there. Which this is actually this actually would be a really cool looking water line. I'm kind of proud. What I'm not proud of is the zombie noises. I do not like those. So they sound hard. Are you under me or something? Alright, I'm showing glow sound down here. I don't want anything to spawn down here. Alright, so there's that. And we have our water bucket. So I guess we can put the water in now. And then I have to go get a dropper. So, you know, guys, I'm going to actually pause right here, and we'll be back in a moment once I have all of this set up. A few moments later. All right, guys, we are back, and if I turn around right here, you're going to see this odd thing that I've built. So, we have all the hoppers in. I could not get this to work that nice. So, normally, you would have to have, if you are on the same height, I used to want the blocks and the blocks slide over it under a slab into another water source. I don't have silk touch yet, so I can't do that. So for now, it can only go into these two barrels, which I've dumped all my stuff in, which is actually fine. Now for the dropper, I'm actually gonna. We have this little circuit, so if I place an arrow in it, it's gonna. The power is gonna activate this repeater, it's gonna activate this redstone the repeater into that block, which is gonna power that. And yeah, it's going to activate it. You go here, there should be an arrow right there. There we go. Now, that is basically our build right now. Uh, how do we get a good screenshot? This is a better question. <laughs> Probably destroying all this first. That will never not be satisfying. Like, I'm sorry. But that is just satisfying. And my mouse is falling out of my computer. That's great. Anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for the video, I think. Because we built it. We built a 
extremely efficient. And next episode, guys, we're going to build a melon and pumpkin farm once I clear another area. And then I guess we can work on our our shop area. Big town square, because I want to build a town. This is going to be the place where we build the things for the things. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe, comment. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> uh, subscribe, comment. Tell me about other amazing things to build in Minecraft that won't completely destroy everything I've built, because that is a big no-no, destroying what I've built. Um, yeah, that's from, an F, uh, that's from a failed circuit. Um, but yeah, tell me, just, no, just, never mind. Anyway, guys, this, has, this is basically my video. Hope you all enjoyed, and yeah, peace out.